Poshuwinge is a prehistoric Tewa site, and the Tewa speakers are the people that today live down at Okeawinge, Santa Clara, San Ildefonso, Pueblos, and they claim this part of the Chama Valley. In their oral tradition, they say that their ancestors came from these places. The relationship between these prehistoric people and the modern-day Pueblo is continuous through time. I live in Germany, and I was coming to Abiquiu to visit some friends, and so I found this site called Abiquiu and Around, and it was talking about this hike, and it looked really interesting, and so I just decided to go on it. The Forest Service has designed the trail so that people stay away from this structure itself, because it's rather delicate. It is adobe, and what happens to adobe structures is they melt down. So you'll see just the outline of the Pueblo, by these adobe walls, and they were about two stories tall. In most cases, part of it was one story. It has a cobblestone foundation, but it's the prehistoric adobe Pueblo and dates to about 1450, 1500. We do have a kiva on one side, and then you do have the entries into and out of the plaza. So most of the everyday work was done in the plaza, and then people just lived and slept in, in the building itself. It's built on a little uh, gravel terrace up above the Chama River. It has been partially excavated in the early 1900s by Jean Son, who was an archeologist from Southern Colorado. It was a pretty easy hike, and there was a nice little place to stop midway and sit and rest, and then we walked to the top, and we could see beautifully all over the valley. It was a really easy hike. Um, it wasn't that far and it sloped up really gradually. And um, I'm in my 60s and it was easy. So I think it would be easy for most people. It does go uphill a little bit, but you know, no big thing. The views are just absolutely incomparable. You just have this incredible feeling of space and you see mesas around and mountains and this incredibly blue sky. and clouds on the, on the horizon. From the very top you could look down and see the shape of the whole area. And it, was, it was really beautiful. You could never see it from, the, from down on ground level. And then there's also a really nice map at the top that showed you where different things were located. And so when you get up at the, at the top you can look down and you can see uh, where this whole, this whole village was and stuff like that and it was just really cool. The scenery, the landscape, the, the plants, I mean, the cactus and, and the rocks, and it was just really beautiful.